concrete. What do you think of concrete? What do you think of? <laughs> Your driveway. Cold. Yeah. Yeah. Construction, high rises. Concrete is the most commonly used construction material in the world. And it's being used in homes in ways most people have trouble imagining. This will be a floor, but not a cold floor in a basement, a warm main level floor. Concrete surprised the thousands who went through the turnstiles at this year's BC Place Home Show. Because the feature R2000 home, the centerpiece of the show, was made from concrete. Uh, concrete home. Jonathan Brownlee's renovation show is broadcast throughout Canada and the U.S. Well, I've been using concrete for a long time. I built a lot of homes in the U.S. Um, so this product's been available a little longer down there, but it's nice to see that it's in Canada now. This is the floor we saw being poured just a minute ago, finished with a richness and texture that would enhance any home. Because this was a display home, the floor was poured elsewhere, then brought to the home. Usually the floor would be poured in place. When you pour a floor in a concrete home, that floor also can be your finished floor. You can have your end in, in floor rated heat inside the concrete when you place it. Then you can grind the concrete with a beautiful trazzle finish, or you can acid stain it, or you could stamp it and color it. And you have a durable, lifelong floor. Walls in a concrete home look much like the walls in any well-built home, but with many added advantages. Time-constrained building for the home show was possible because concrete homes can be built in less time than conventional construction. They're built with big, lightweight blocks called insulated concrete forms. Some think of them as Lego for adults. Reinforcing steel will add strength and durability. The home show made many people aware of concrete construction, although it actually has been available for many years. The simplicity is elegant. The foam blocks, held in place by a web system made from tough, recycled plastic, are filled with concrete. This is the built-in web, okay? So what that acts as, it's, it's almost like a skinny little stud. So you can think of it as the stud in your wood frame construction. The difference being that uh, we are on every 18 centers, and you find it by, you look for that little V groove. So there's a V groove. There's another weak roof, there's another weak roof. So you have a skinny start every eight inches. As the centerpiece of the show, the R2000 concrete home gets lots of media attention. For the first time, the BC public will see concrete as a desirable option for their next home. It's a method of construction that eliminates several steps. We don't have to put any kind of exterior house wrap on the wall. We don't have to put uh, interior uh, vapor barriers. We don't have to frame anything. We don't have to insulate anything. It's all combined. This ICF, Insulated Concrete Form System, means the wall is instantly insulated, has substantially more energy efficiency than conventional walls, and is more soundproof and fire resistant. And concrete is durable. It doesn't break down or rot. The biggest change that we've had recently has been with leaky buildings and the problems that they've had with a uh, rot. What an ideal opportunity to try and introduce a product into this marketplace that we can you know, provide a product that's rot free where you're not going to have those types of issues. As the home show opening draws closer, anticipation increases. Nine days is an unheard of timeline to build a home. Fortunately, this system can make building easier. This is actually gives you more to screw to because they have the studs at every eight inches instead of 16. Cabinets, shelves, pictures can easily be hung just about anywhere. On the outside, the siding resembles wood, but is really a cement fiber product and will last much longer. The roof is concrete tile. Both siding and roof are guaranteed for 50 years. I'm not that busy solving material problems. Kathy Compower and her husband Paul both specialize in concrete. And they notice concrete has a new sophistication. 
The industry over the last 20 years has really matured. Both the suppliers of the concrete product are much more knowledgeable about producing concrete to meet the needs of the contractors. And the contractors are much better trained at placing and finishing and curing the concrete. One hour before show opening, and what could be a new era in home construction? Here is. This is all finished in there now as well? It's all done? So we're all set to roll. Great. It's been a long, it's been a lot of long days. 12 to 16 hour days. It's all done. Right yeah. on time, absolutely. Well, the entire house was, of course, built of concrete, including all the exterior uh, finishes. We incorporated a water feature into the living room. We wanted something rather simple. With the kitchen design, I, I wanted to create an open, airy feeling. Uh, and yet, in addition to the glass and the wood on the island, we have concrete counters and a concrete sink. It's just a lot of design possibilities, and it's a lot of fun, and you can have a lot of fun mm. of color and texture, and you can inlay stone and marble and glass. The beauty of concrete, it's, it's only limited by your imagination. Today's concrete is warm, it's innovative, it's every color under the rainbow. It, um, you can incorporate uh, in-floor radiant heat, it's, it's deep window sills, it's, it's wide open floor spans, it's green, it's non-toxic, it has a number of characteristics that people just don't associate with concrete. Tens of thousands will visit, and for many it will be their first experience inside a concrete home. I can't believe how smoothly finished it was. In the kitchen, it's very warm. I like it. You don't have to worry about bugs or termites. It's, it's nice. It's unique. Oh, it's great. I really like the concrete countertops. I really like the concrete house. I'm thinking of building a home that's got the lower floor all concrete, or the lower level all concrete, so I'm very interested at the moment. It looks like a regular house. If you didn't know it was concrete, I don't think, I don't think I'd know the difference. There are hundreds of concrete homes in British Columbia, and one of their secrets is they don't have to look like conventional homes. They can be whatever their owners and designers want. They're friendlier to the environment and often healthier. I historically had uh, minor allergies and have had absolutely no problem since we moved in. Certainly, I would say that the materials don't create uh, gases. Well, in the winter time, I don't spend very much on my gas bill. And in the summertime, because the house is so well insulated, it stays very cool in the summer, so I'm absolutely happy. I don't think I could do better. Concrete homes use up to 40% less energy, can be built in less time, and are quieter to live in. They won't burn or rot, provide better indoor air quality, and last much longer. Concrete homes are growing quickly in popularity. All the high-rises use concrete all the time because it doesn't rot, it doesn't burn, you know, and you can put reinforcing steel in it, so it's really good that way. And now it's, it's filtering down into the residential market. And it is, it is the future. <laughs>